Hi, food fans. Alton Brown here in uh, my test kitchen in a secret uh, location. Uh, and I've been uh, making up a uh, little batch of my, uh, my biscuits. Uh, of course, you can get the, uh, the recipe for that at altonbrown.com. Um, and it's not so much the makeup of the biscuits that I'm concerned about right now. It is uh, what we're going to do with these biscuits after I knead and fold them over a few times. Because believe it or not, we've got options. Of course, it would be nice to just have uh, some biscuits. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But we could also make something even more wonderful than a biscuit. I know, what could possibly be better than a biscuit? Well, how about a bonut? Okay, that means a, a donut made out of biscuits. It's not a great name, but we're working on it. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with bonut. So what I've got here is I have one batch of my biscuit dough, um, kind of folded over and pounded out to about an inch of, uh, of thickness. I'm just gonna check that. Um, I don't have a donut cutter but I do have a couple of just a round uh, cutters. Uh, this is the size I would normally use for a uh, biscuit. So I will uh, cut those and then use this little guy to take out the holes. Also standing by, I have two quarts of peanut oil hovering at about 350 degrees. How do I know? Because I'm using a fry or candy thermometer, which is what you need to do as well. Once you've got it at 350, kind of bring the uh, flame down to low and hold it there. Also, this right here is a draining area. This is where my, uh, my bow nuts are going to go to drain. And then here, I have got a very, very simple vanilla flavored glaze. Blech. Plastic wrap, of course. Um, all this is, is a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter cup of whole milk that have been heated in the microwave together in this bowl for about 15 seconds. And then I whisk in eight ounces by weight, it's about two cups of confectioner sugar. And believe it or not, all of this sugar will actually dissolve down into that very, very small amount of milk. And when it comes off of the whisk like that, you know that you are good to do some glaze. And I'm gonna cut these kind of as close together as I can. I'm just gonna start with that. And I'm gonna poke out the holes. Of course, we will not throw those away. They are extraordinarily valuable. This dough should be kept no warmer than room temperature or it will get very sticky and difficult to work with. I also have standing by in the hardware department, you'll notice a strainer that's referred to as a spider. Uh, you can get that in most Asian markets and it is something that I think is very good for removing fried material. So, uh, double checking, uh, my temperature's at exactly 350. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn up the flame a little bit because the temperature is going to drop pretty rapidly. Carefully. You can set these on the end of a spoon and put them in. I just do it by hand. Nice and easy. They're going to cook for one to two minutes on each side. I'm not going to do more than about four at a time, although the pot would hold more. All right, time to flip. I'm just going to reach in here with the, the wooden spoon, just kind of roll them over. Oh yeah, these are going to be very tall. That's what you want to see in a bro nut. You want the lift of a biscuit, but all the uh, golden brown beauty of a donut. And since I've got pretty good uh, heat management going here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of these guys. Oh, I know what, we'll do some donut holes next. I actually like these better than the donuts themselves. You should need more of them. I'm just gonna kind of lower them down on this side using my spider, kind of wiggle to separate. But I'm going to say that is perfect. Just what we're looking for in the golden brown and the delicious category. I'm gonna get those drained. See all this kind of lift and separation on the side? That's the biscuit part. Uh, those layers of dough, which is not something that you typically get in a donut because uh, the dough for a donut is usually more batter like a, either a yeast donut or a cake donut. But that's what gives us that lift there. And I'm gonna let these uh, continue uh, cooking. You don't want to, uh, to glaze them while they're so hot that they will burn your hands. But the warmer that they are, uh, the more evenly the, ah, the glaze is going to be here. So I'm just gonna kind of drop that down in there. I'm only going to glaze them on one side. Sit there and just kind of spin them around and then flip. The hotter that the donuts or the, sorry, bro nuts, the hotter the bro nuts or the holes are, the thinner the glaze will be because the heat from the, uh, the fried product, of course, is going to thin that glaze out. That's okay by me. Thanks for watching. I need some private time.